AMD has been on a roll recently with their launch of the third gen Ryzen CPUs absolutely smashing the competition. So when you hear that they've got a third gen APU out, you'd be understandably pretty excited. Sadly, I'm here to be the buzzkill and tell you that while it is named a third gen Ryzen, the 3400G, it's actually only a Zen Plus or second gen Ryzen core design. I know, I know, maybe next year. Spec-wise, you're looking at four cores, eight threads, a base clock of 3.7 gigahertz and a boost to 4.2. Its built-in GPU is a Vega 11, meaning it's got 11 compute units, which you can compare that to a Vega 56 or 64, which has 56 or 64 compute units. Now this all sounds good, but how good actually is it, especially for around 140 pounds? Well, if you're only looking to spend three to 400 pounds on your PC and you can only buy new, then this is actually a pretty interesting option and overall pretty decent performance from a single chip. Here's a few gaming benchmarks. Starting off with Battlefield 5, this is on DirectX 12, but on everything on low, you're looking at an average of 31 FPS with a 1% or a 99% lows of 24. These numbers aren't gonna be the, the fastest as you'd expect, but if you're used to a console gaming experience, then this wouldn't be too different. On PUBG, again on low settings, you're looking at 30 36 FPS average with a minimum of 25 and Fortnite is really the outlier here because it's crazy well optimized on low settings still at 1080p but you're looking at 86 FPS average with a minimum of 63 so actually very playable even if a little low quality. Apex is also relatively well optimized we did have fairly low dips down to 26 but an average of 50 certainly isn't too bad again if you're used to a console gaming experience then this won't be too different for you. When it comes to the CPU performance, it's pretty much what you'd expect for a quad-core second-gen Ryzen CPU, and so it's certainly uh, decent enough. It's not the, the most impressive chip you'll find, especially with the third-gen Ryzen CPUs available, but to give you an idea, Cinebench R20 in the single-threaded results, you're looking at around about 414 points, and then in the multi-threaded results, you're looking at around about uh, 1,938 points. When it comes to Premiere Pro, rendering around CPU only, with a 10 minute test clip. We're looking at around about half an hour to render that clip versus the 2700X, which is obviously double the cores, but only takes about 19 minutes. Overall, this is a really impressive chip. While it's something that I can't wholeheartedly recommend uh, if you want a proper gaming PC, it's certainly a very good option if you want, say, you already have an AM4 motherboard and you're waiting for your main parts or to be able to forge your main parts, for example, this could be a good drop-in substitute for that. Uh, the other thing is obviously if you're building a living room or a, an HTPC kind of gaming PC type thing um, where you don't need the, the best specs in the world but you need something that can handle say 4k playback quite well this is definitely a good shot for that. It also comes with a great inbox cooler which is always fantastic to see and does mean that all of your 140 pounds you're spending on it you're already getting a good cooler that very much supports this chip even with the full graphics package too. So to answer the question of would I put this on my desk I think I would. Well it of course wouldn't replace my main gaming PC, it's certainly a good option for a living room gaming PC or an HTPC or even just like a media center type thing. It's a very interesting show, very good value for money when it comes to both the, the gaming performance but also the CPU performance generally speaking and so uh, big thumbs up from me. Of course those are my thoughts, I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. Is this a chip you're interested in picking up and if so what would you use it for? I'd be very interested to know. You can also check out the link in the description down below to Amazon where you can pick up one of these chips or, or just see pricing when and where you watch this because it can vary. It is a global Amazon link so that should hopefully uh, give you a good idea. And of course if you want to see more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday and Friday then you can take a look at that subscribe button with a bell notification icon to be notified well, of those new videos. You can also check out the rest of the links in the description down below. There's Amazon and Overclockers UK affiliate links which don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them. There's also merch if you want hoodies or t-shirts like this one. I'm really happy with how this design turned out, sort of tech collage, so feel free to go take a look at that one down in the description. Or there's also private internet access which is great and cheap VPN or Hubble bundle for cheap games that support charities too. Otherwise you can check out some other videos over there, other than that we'll catch you all in the next video.